Hi everybody, Miguel from Black Flag Summit Club here. If you've been following our channel for a while, you know that we've previously looked at the Stratus hoodie from Prometheus Design Works. They've graciously sent us out an updated version of their Stratus hoodie in Ranger Green for us to check out what the updates are. I'm super excited to check it out, and the temperatures here in the Pacific Northwest are really cooperating. It's been down to 11 degrees Fahrenheit here, and it's currently 25 degrees. All right, so let's get into it. So when I initially got the package and opened it up, I was uh, struck obviously first by the color. I am a real big fan of this color. I think it's a good looking color. Uh, and then also the weight. Uh, when I got it, uh, this is a size medium and it weighed out at 582 grams, which is about one pound, four and a half ounces. And also coming with the Stratus hoodie was a pouch made out of the same material as the inner liner for the hood. Uh, that allows you to stuff the Stratus hoodie into this pouch and it'll turn it into a neck pillow. So the outer shell of the Stratus hoodie is made up of a 20D DWR coated nylon material. The whole th coat, both inside and out, is made of that 20D fabric. Except for once we get inside the coat, there's two panels on the inside front, both sides, that are made out of a different material. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's got a slightly rougher texture to it. Uh, and then also the inner liners for the pockets is made out of a, a brush tricot material. It's uh, soft and helps you get like a warm feeling in all of the places where you're, uh, where you're exposed skin. It's going to touch the coat like in your uh, pockets here or in your hood. Uh, but it's not a super soft uh, like fluffy type of fleece material. The hoodie itself is filled with an 850 fill power down, uh, which is a 90% down to 10% feathers mixture, which is a really good high uh, down ratio that you're looking for. The down is one area where the Stratus hoodie has been updated from the previous uh, generation. Previous generation uh, used 800 uh, power fill down, so this has gone up to 850. Uh, and also the previous generation used a 95 down to 5% feather ratio, whereas this uh, generation of the Stratus hoodie does a 90% down 10% feather ratio. So one of the design elements that's pretty uh, evident as soon as you pull it out of its package and take a look at it are these baffles. And you're going to notice that they are uh, welded baffles, so there's no stitching there. And the good thing about that is that you don't have all the micro holes from the needle uh, poking through where to put the thread through. And also you won't get uh, what I've got on some of my other down jackets where some of the feathers will actually work their way out through the sewing holes that get punched in the fabric. So I think that's a really good uh, design idea and element of having the uh, welded stitching uh, for the baffles instead of actual stitching. Okay, so let's talk about the comfort and fit of the uh, the hoodie itself. So I'm about five foot seven. I weigh about 150 pounds. I typically wear a size small when I'm uh, gonna wear a fitted garment or a size medium when I need it to be a little bit looser. Uh, like I said earlier, this hoodie itself is in a size medium. And so you can see how it fits me here. And currently what I'm wearing is I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath and then I have a fleece hoodie underneath this now I've got the down hoodie on top of that. And so this is the fit that I've got. It's still giving me a range of motion. I'm not feeling constrained anywhere. So this is good. And it's not squeezing the, the loft out of the down. So I'm getting the efficiency that I need to get out of this uh, hoodie right now. So I think medium for somebody my size is a great fit to be able to layer. So design. Uh, is kind of in the eye of the beholder. I personally like the simplicity and the ruggedness of the design of the Stratus hoodie. Uh, it also comes in two other colors, an outpost blue, which is kind of a slate blue color. And it also comes in a Sith black, which is kind of like a gray black uh, uh, kind of color. The craftsmanship of the hoodie is uh, great. I looked it all over and the only thing that I could even nitpick on was the hem stitching on the hood. There was uh, one area where the stitching kind of fell off of the, uh, the uh, hemming material 
and that's about all I could find. Uh, the hoodie is designed by Prometheus Design Works in California, uh, but is manufactured in China. So as far as durability, I just got this updated version, so I'll let you guys know as I wear it more how it wears. Uh, Prometheus Design Works themselves have stated that they designed this with the intention that it lasts at least five seasons. Uh, the other Miguel, like I told you, he's had his uh, Stratus hoodie for over a year now, and it's doing great for him. So I am really looking forward to a long life for this piece of equipment. Okay, so the Stratus hoodie being a down garment, down is an amazing insulator. It's a very high performing insulator when you're out and you're being active uh, in the cold. It does a great job of holding in your heat, but not holding in so much heat that you end up uh, overheating and starting to sweat. Um, the one downfall to down is that uh, you have to be careful with it, keep it from getting uh, wet. And what Prometheus Design Works has done with the Stratus hoodie is they've actually coated the, uh, the down filling with a uh, hydrophobic coating so that it helps make it 27 uh, times uh, more resistant to the effects of water. And so that's really gonna help you in keeping the uh, insulation power and efficiency of the garment even if you do end up getting it wet from either perspiration or uh, precipitation. So as a garment, uh, I think that the Stratus hoodie obviously can stand on its own, you know, whether it's a crisp fall day or, you know, spring day, where you just need a jacket and it's not raining too hard outside. Uh, the Stratus hoodie is definitely gonna keep you warm. Like I said, it's 25 degrees out here and I'm doing just fine inside of this hoodie. Um, but it is meant to be a layered uh, garment. And so you, to get the most out of it when you're going out there, you're gonna want to take some layers and make sure that you're you know, wearing a good uh, base layer, put on a fleece uh, mid layer, then layer this down on top of it and then have a shell that you can throw on uh, if you're starting to get into more inclement weather where you're getting a lot of rain, snow, etc., just to keep it dry and working well. Uh, as far as pockets, there are two hand warmer pockets here on the front. And I'll show you that here. Inside of each pocket, there's a little loop so you can clip your keys or other gear onto it. You can see again that tricot material inside of the pocket. The zippers work very well and they have some nice, nice pulls on them so that you can uh, pull them easily. Like you see, I've got gloves on right now. There's one pocket here on the chest, and this pocket does have a little hole to put your headphone through so that you can listen to the music and keep your phone actually in and warm. Inside, on the other side, there's another little pocket here that you can stick gear into. And then the other big uh, change in addition to the Stratus hoodie with this latest generation are these two stash pockets here in the front which allow you to quickly put your gloves, your hat, any other kind of larger item into those uh, pockets so that they're out of the way and getting carried along. Okay, so now let's look at the hood. Uh, I am wearing another hoodie right now, but I'll put it up with just the Stratus hoodie. Uh, the hood is lined with that same tricot material. You can see that it has no fittings or strings or anything to change the shape or size of the hoodie itself, uh, which I actually like for its simplicity. It is larger, but shaped to your head. So you can see that it's sealing nicely around my face. It's got plenty of space for my hat and it even has enough space. If you were wearing a helmet, uh, it should fit no problem inside of this hoodie. Another interesting feature of the Stratus hoodie is that you can actually take the entire hoodie and stuff it into one of its own pockets uh, and it will turn into basically a travel size pillow that you can use when you're either traveling or when you're out in the bush. Okay, so let's talk, you know, an important factor, right? Cost. Uh, what is the cost of the Stratus hoodie? So the Stratus hoodie right now is listed on the PDW website at $289, uh, which is a lot of money, but I think that when you look at the performance of this garment, $289 is right there in the market uh, and is delivering you a very high performing product for that price. So overall, 
I think that the Stratus hoodie is awesome. Uh, so far, it's been doing an amazing job at keeping me warm in this cold weather that I said we've been having here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm looking forward to adding this to my overall kit whenever I'm going out backpacking. It's going to be an excellent mid-layer that I can put under my shell and keep me warm uh, and has extra protection in case I do uh, end up being out into the woods and I don't want to stop and take my shell out. It's going to have that uh, DWR coating and also the down coating that's going to help to keep it in shape while I abuse it slightly. So just want to thank you for making it through the video and uh, keeping with us here at Black Flag Summit Club. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you appreciated the content, please go ahead and hit the like button because uh, it'll help the algorithm pick up the video and get it in front of more people that might find use in it or entertainment value out of it, if nothing else. So thanks for watching and I'll see you outside.